Hey guys, a lot of you guys are asking me to do a video how to break it in a motor. Very easy. Things you'll need, bowl with water in it, motor, speed control, battery. <clears throat> For you guys that bought an RTR, wants to do a break in of their motor, very easy. What you need to do to unbolt your motor from the machine and be able to put it in water while it's still plugged in on your speed control. <clears throat> Sorry. Now the first thing to do is start the break-in. But some of you guys said to me, can I use a battery to be able to do it? Just normal battery. <sighs> yes, you could, but something I will not suggest. Simple reason is battery has a higher voltage. You're gonna plug it with the motor, motor is gonna come hot, and there's a chance that you're gonna do damage to your brushes. To prevent that, you want to do a break-in slow. <clears throat> Now what you need to do is plug in your pack to your speed control, turn it on, that he doesn't want to, there we go, it's on, take your motor, take it for a swim. Now to be able to not hold the remote by your hands on your remote you'll have a throttle trim this is what you use to be able to have it slow and there you go not too fast not to make a mess one thing you'll notice after you run your pack your water is going to slowly change color it's going to come grayish <clears throat> that's normal that's the dust from the brushes to explain you why to do a break-in, very easy. Here you have your motor comm, your main shaft of your motor, and here you have your brushes. Your brushes on each side of the comm are square. <clears throat> when you want to do your break-in is, simple reason, you got contact points right here. You have a small contact point. When you do your break-in, your brush becomes round with the comm, and you have multiple contact points allowing you to have more performance out of your motor, more durability out of your motor, and more fun when you do this point right here. Now if you notice right now, even the water is slowly changing color right now. I won't run the complete pack, uh, but usually you do have to run the complete pack. The other thing I do suggest, once you're finished doing your uh, break-in complete, you, on each end of the motors, you have your, your comm. Some motor will have bearings, some will have bushings. To give them a, something a lube. You, what I use is Scorpion Motor Bearing Lubrification. And I do have, like O'Donnell has uh, wax lubrification. Uh, I do always use both of them on bearings. One is not dust collected, the other one's a little bit, can collect dust. I uh, wouldn't be using WD-40 because we'll collect dust. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. If you have any question or comment, post them down below. And take care.